Alright guys, welcome back. Another week in the Aztec camp. We've um yeah had a good one this week. Um, nice bit of crane action, had a horse chestnut takedown with four sheds sat underneath it, I think there was. Four sheds and a marquee, so that was a tricky one, but yeah, had the old girl out and lifted everything out, chipped everything up, tidy little job. I'm riding on the way in, yeah, yeah. I'm smoking on the way in, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're saying, yeah, yeah. I don't talk less you pay in, yeah, yeah. If it's just I'll just be paying, yeah, yeah. My foot's up where you'll be laying, yeah, yeah. We all know who your bitch craving, yeah, yeah. We all know who's where y'all living, yeah, yeah. I'm riding on the way in, yeah, yeah. I'm smoking on the way in, yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're saying. Chiddenstone Real Football 2023. All the boys off tomorrow. Big game on. The Rock are going for the win. Now, we're going to take a look at some of the sporting fixtures you can look forward to over the Easter weekend because it's always a busy one for our football teams. But if you want some real football, the village of Chiddingstone is the place to be. It's the place where James, our sports reporter, is this evening. We can go there now and join him. And James, I think I can see you over there. For anyone not familiar with our unusual sport, it's going to be quite a spectacle there tomorrow. Uh, yeah, it absolutely is. It's what we call Chiddingston. Real football. There's going to be more than 100 players on each team as they play tomorrow on Good Friday. And I've got with me here some of the key, play key players. I've got Katie here and I've got the two team captains with me, Adam and Dan. Oh, I'm going to Adam now. Adam, you are the team captain of the other pub. The Rock Inn. That's it. The best pub. And you've been playing, <laughs> you've been playing since the beginning. Yeah. Um, just how hard is it? Is it to play the game? 
it, it's as hard as you want to make it. Obviously, if you get involved in the day, you're, you're going to know about it on a Saturday. That's for sure. But um, for the less less manly people, you can kind of duck in, duck out as much as you want and not get injured too bad. So. And Dan? So I think we've all finally recovered from last Friday's real football. Didn't quite get the win as we wanted, but we will have a draw and take us into next year again. So yeah, everyone had a had a good day. A bit battered and bruised, but we're sorted, we're done, and we've had a had a good week this week, so yeah, here's what we've been up to. demo from Fjordwood so we ran a load of arb rings and arb waves through it just to see how it coped and how it got on and we were pleasantly surprised and managed to get a few logs in that we need to keep family and friends and ourselves going over the winter so that's all in and split and now seasoning which is nice that's one job ticked off the list um, yeah hopefully our cheeses will turn up soon which will be nice and we'll get cracking on with that. Forestry have had a good week, um, drying out, which is nice. We've had a good few days of sun, so the slop is disappearing. <coughs> They've been cutting well, harvesters going well in that new site, um, knocking through all the ash. To get that out of the way before we go and thin the pine and the beech again. And the Vosh, Nathan and the Vosh has been cracking on good timber coming out of there, just waiting for uh, haulage to come pick it up and get it gone, so the fibre boys can get processing again.
another week wrapped up. So thanks very much for watching. Don't remember. Uh, don't remember. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's what I was going to say. Um, yeah, the support is appreciated. And we will see you for next week's little video. Have a good weekend. Thank you very much.